Now, before we dive right into this course, I want to give you just a bit of a roadmap so that you'll have an idea where we're headed here and the kind of topics we're going to cover. We'll start off talking just briefly about Microsoft certification offerings when it comes to development, and then we'll turn our attention right away to Visual Studio. I'll show you how to get yourself a free copy, full working copy of Visual Studio. We'll talk about how to install Visual Studio, and then I'll give you just a real quick tour of some of the basic features for those of you who may be a little bit uncomfortable with Visual Studio if you haven't seen it a whole lot. Talk about some of the settings that you can work with in there, and I'll show you kind of a nuclear option for getting yourself back to square one if you get confused. And then we're going to jump into the basics of C Sharp. These are things that you absolutely need to make sure you understand the fundamentals on. We're talking about object-oriented programming, terminologies, functionalities, purposes. Then we'll jump into classes and objects and talk about various aspects of classes and objects, how they're interrelated, terminologies that tend to confuse you sometimes. Then we'll talk about value and reference types. Very important that you understand the differences and nuances between these. Then we'll move into C sharp types. We'll talk about things like properties and fields in our classes, and then access modifiers both on our classes and on our methods constructors, what they are, how they work, how we can use them, how we can overload them. Then we'll talk about structs, how structs are similar to classes, how they're different, show you a couple of things that are unique to structs, and I'll save you an afternoon or two of your time with some of the kind of odd functionalities that structs will throw at you if you're not careful. Then we'll talk about things like generic types. We'll talk about and look at some of the things you need to consider and understand about casting and converting between data types. Then we'll turn to class hierarchies, and that's just a fancy way of saying inheritance. We'll talk about what inheritance is, how it helps us, how it complicates what we're doing. Then we'll talk about topics like overloading our methods, overriding our methods in an inheritance situation, extension methods, really cool functionality. You're going to like what you see there if you're not familiar with them. And then we'll turn our attention to where we really need to start to pay close attention and understand what's going on because this is the heart of working with C Sharp, and that is understanding interfaces in C Sharp. And then that will lead us quite naturally into implementing one of the more interesting interfaces, I Enumerable. And of course, we'll get into I Enumerator as well with that. Then we're going to graduate into delegates. Now, it's absolutely fundamental that you understand delegates in C Sharp what they are, why we use them, why we need them. We're going to look at some very simple examples of creating a delegate and using that delegate. And then we'll really lay the groundwork for understanding events by talking about multicast delegates and how we subscribe to a delegate and so forth. Then we're going to wade into the topic of events. Now, events are hard for a lot of people to figure out because they involve delegates. And if you don't start at delegates, it's really hard to understand events. We'll talk about the what and the why of events. And then we're going to go through some examples. And we'll start off with just the most basic, simple example of an event that I could figure out to show you. Then we'll talk about using the built-in event handler delegate and the changes that makes to our code. And then we'll talk about using the event args class as a base class for providing event arguments when we call our event. So we'll go through all of that. And this is also something else that you absolutely must understand about C Sharp. We're going to talk about the basics of garbage collection, what it is, what it does. Then we're going to get into how it works. We're going to talk about understanding dispose, why we would want to dispose of objects. Then we'll talk about finalizers, how finalizers work, what's happening, what the .NET framework is thinking as it sees our finalizers, what makes them so potentially frustrating for us. And then we'll take a real good look at a diagram of the iDisposable interface and its implementation and how to properly implement it using a pattern. So you'll like what you see there. Then we're going to move to asynchronous programming, fancy way of saying multi-threading. We'll talk a little bit about the basics of multi-threading, help you get your head around it. We'll create a simple foreground thread, take a look at that. Then we'll talk about managing threads once we've created them. Then we'll talk about using ThreadPool to take advantage of pre-constructed background threads. And we'll also talk about the nuances of background threads 
as in comparison to foreground threads. And then we'll get into something really exciting, the async and await keywords that are relatively new to C Sharp. And I'll show you a really simple example of how to understand how to use those. And then I just want to touch on security before I leave you. We'll talk about assemblies as the basic deployment unit for a .NET Framework application. We'll talk about the global assembly cache, some things you need to be prepared for on the exam. Then we'll talk about a simple example of user file encryption, just give you some ideas of how you can provide that to your users and your programs. Then we'll talk about hashing, and then we'll look at some examples of how we can use hashing to safely store passwords. And we'll also touch on salting there as well. Then we'll uh, wrap up. I'll kind of give you a gentle little shove to where to go next to help get ready for this exam. But we're going to cover an awful lot of information in this course. So get comfortable, maybe get something to sip on as we go, and let's get started. I'm really glad you're here.